30-year-old Andrea was spending the evening with her young son when she was struck by severe back pain and unexplained bleeding. Now she believes she's having a miscarriage and she didn't even know that she was pregnant. It was definitely something that took me completely by surprise. I've had my period. I didn't have any inkling that, you know, there was a possibility I could be pregnant. Both, both of our reactions were, you know, how could this have happened? You know, how, how did we, how did we not know? There was no visible showing that she was pregnant. Her belly was flat. Okay, I do have the paramedics started. Okay. Moments later, Andrea's worried mother pulls into the driveway, unaware that her daughter is called for an ambulance. I happened to hear a siren. I was scared, nervous, and I'm just sitting there going, what is going on? What is happening to my daughter? When we approached the door, it was just obvious she was in a lot of pain. We had her sit down on our stretcher, and we immediately moved over to the ambulance. The amount of pain she was in and the amount of blood that I was seeing, my initial concern was that she was, in fact, having a miscarriage. Do you feel anything? But as I was examining her abdomen, there was really nothing that seemed to indicate pregnancy. But the types of things that could cause bleeding and can also be life-threatening. So we needed to start heading for the hospital. We've got to go. Priority one. Andrea's mother sets out behind the ambulance for the 20-minute drive to the hospital while Brad stays behind with Tyler. I get in my car and I'm trying to follow them. I was getting very nervous, kind of freaking out, going, what's going on with my daughter? It's okay. On a scale of one to 10, the pain was probably about a 15 to 20. Every time I would have a back spasm, I felt like something needs to come out. And she said, well, next time you have one, go ahead and push, and we'll see what's going on. We'll find out what's going on, all right? I felt another one. And she said, OK, go ahead and push. And she looked. And she, at that point, said that she saw a bunch of blood and mucus. I was very concerned. In the process of looking to see how much bleeding there was, she started to have a lot of pain again, another huge cramp. That's when we noticed that she was crowning. The head was visible. Andrea's not having a miscarriage after all. She's having a baby. I looked right at her. I said, Andrea, you're about to deliver a baby. And she just really kind of looked at me like she didn't believe what I had just said. I was in total and utter shock. That's when I realized, you know, that I was in labor. 